Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm Mr. Cobalt, Mr. Dean Cobalt, and today we are going to be talking about physical and chemical properties. <clears throat> so this is following up from the discussion that we had regarding physical and chemical changes. Um, they are the two are related together. So physical properties are going to be properties that a substance is going to display without changing its composition. So these would be things like odor, uh, taste, smell, uh, things of, of that nature. So, um, oops. So odor, taste, smell. Uh, let's see, density. Density, boiling point, melting points, things like that. Um, <clears throat> these are going to be physical properties because I can observe these properties without changing what it is. I don't destroy, I don't change it, it um, I don't change what it is, but I do, I might have to change the state. So for example, um, boiling point, I can observe the boiling point of water by putting it on a stove, heating it up, and then measuring the temperature, um, and then waiting for it to boil. So the temperature at which it boils is the boiling point. I can observe that. And all I'm doing is I'm changing the water from a liquid to a gas. I'm not changing the fact that it's water. Water doesn't become something else when I boil it. Uh, density too. I can measure the mass and I'm the volume of an object or a substance. Uh, divide them, find the density, and I can observe what the density is um, <clears throat> without changing what it is. Chemical properties are properties I can only observe or that are only displayed by the substance um, in the process of changing what the substance is. So during like a chemical reaction or a chemical change. So in the chemical change, I have to change what it is. So these would be things like flammability, toxicity, um, let's say uh, things like, things of that that nature. So, um, for example, a sheet of paper. Um, I can hold a sheet of paper. I can't see the flammability or the property of flammability in the paper unless I burn the paper. But in the process of burning it, I'm going from paper to ashes and carbon dioxide and other stuff. So I'm changing what it is. That's the only way I can actually observe the flammability of the paper or inflammability of the paper as well. And that's a thing you want to keep in mind is that properties aren't merely positive properties, but negative properties are properties as well. So not being flammable, not being soluble. Those are properties. Um, so solubility is also a uh, <clears throat> physical property because, again, before, dissolving something does not change what it is. So I can throw it in water and see if it dissolves. If it doesn't dissolve, then it's insoluble. Uh, not soluble is a property of substances. So keep that in mind. People seem to forget sometimes that um, not having a property is a property, right? So um, not being flammable. So if I uh, try to light uh, something on fire and it doesn't light on fire, then the property is it, it's not flammable. So that is a property of that substance, right? So not having a property is kind of a property of, of the substance itself. So a little strange, but um, that's that's uh, you have to think that way. Um, so chemical properties, again, those be uh, things like flammability, Flammability, toxicity, acidity, right? Things, uh, things you can't really measure unless you've uh, changed the substance in some way. Okay, so that's it uh, for this video: physical properties and chemical properties. Thanks for joining me.